and welcome back to my channel. It's Ashley here again. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, fantastic day. I'm doing really good today. It's pretty chilly outside, so I'm snuggled up in my sweatshirt. But anyways, if you're new here, I'm so excited to have you. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, please don't forget to like and subscribe down below and hit that little bell notification so you get notified every time that I upload a video. Here I go with my crazy hands again. But anyways, let's get into this unboxing. Today we have my Sephora Playback. Sephora Play is $10 a month, comes every single month. And you typically get sample sizes or like the deluxe sample sizes, I suppose. So let's just get in here and see what we got this month. We got my trusty scissors. So we will get into here and see if I can get this little bag out. I always make these boxes so hard to open. Okay. So you open up the box and it just, I like destroy the entire box, but it looks like this inside of the box. And then we have our little baggie full of goodies. And then we have the card and we have our 50 beauty insider points and this big old pamphlet. And it just says last minute looks for Halloween is what the card says. And here's the, or not the card, but the little pam or big pamphlet. And it says scary good beauty. And then that's everything that is in the box and we will read that as we go along. So here is the bag. It is not the drawstring bags. I think this is going to be their standard bag now. This is open here to start your next beauty adventure. So there's that. So let's get in here. So we open up the bag and the first thing I'll pull out is this and this is my Clinique. It is pretty easy liquid eyeliner pin and there's the packaging for it. And it just says an easy to apply eyeliner pen that, is <laughs> that delivers precise lines for 24 hours. Use the pointed tip of the brush to create a thin line and use the flat end of the brush to get a thicker line. So it is a black eyeliner, I'm guessing, yes, 01 black is the shade. So we will get into this, I'm sure it's just a standard liquid eyeliner. But here's the packaging, it just says Clinique on it. And sorry that my hands are dirty, like I tried to get the dirt off my hands from work. Um, I was unloading boxes and everything, so sorry about that if you see some black on my hands. I did scrub them. But we'll get in here and here is the applicator. It is very thin. And we'll give it a swatch and it makes a super thin line. Very thin, very precise, so I'll definitely give this a try. I have been practicing like putting eyeliner on my top lid, which I am terrible at, because I have very hooded eyes, so when I do it, it's usually really bad, but I have been practicing. So that is the first thing, this Clinique eyeliner. The next thing I'm pulling out is in this box, and this is a fresh rose mask, rose face mask, infused with real rose petals, hydrates, and tones. And here is the little box for this. And this says, um, where is it at? Oh, here it is. A toning and hydrating gel mask that visibly restores skin radiance and suppleness. Suppleness. Uh, it says apply a quart size amount to cleanse skin and leave on for 10 minutes, then rinse. So I wonder if it does smell like roses. I can get this little box open. All right, so here is the actual jar. It just says rose face mask infused with real rose petals, hydrates, and tones. And there's a little pot of it. And we open it up, and it does have a safety seal on it. Ooh, it's really goopy. Very goopy. Um, yes, it is very strongly scented of rose. I don't dislike it. The scent of rose, but it's not my favorite scent, but I would definitely use this face mask. And it is a very dark color, so I'll definitely see how this works on my skin. It looks like, it looks like jam, like, like orange jam, <laughs> but definitely smells like roses. I'll definitely give it a go, see how it works. Next thing I'm pulling out is in this box, and it is by Bare Minerals, and it is Gen Nude Patent Lip Lacquer, and... Here is the packaging for it. And this little guy says, a full coverage liquid lipstick in a muted mauve shape with a lacquer-like finish. Use the edge of the applicator to define lip perimeter, then swipe the flat side over the center of the lip to fill it in. Okie dokie. 
And I think the shade is called Everything. So here is the lipstick. It's a very pretty color. Yes, the shade is called Everything. And there's the little <laughs> packaging of it. And then the applicator is like one of those flat pancake applicators. There's a little applicator and we'll give it a swatch. Ooh, it's a very, very pretty color. It's pinky, but it's not too pink. It's, it is a nude color. So there is the shade on the back of my hand. I really do like this color. I'm not gonna put it on because I do have lipstick on today. So I will not try this on my lips, but the shade is very pretty. So there is the third thing that we got. The next thing I'm pulling out is in this little, little thing. Um, it is Cali, 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 Paris. Probably said that completely wrong. And it is Vina Perfect Serum Eclat Radiant Serum. Okay. And here is the little bottle of it. And this little guy says, an oil-free radiance boosting serum that visibly even skin tone. Apply a dime-sized amount to cleanse skin morning and night. Okay. So it does have one of these little droppers. And it is a very milky um, serum. It's kind of thick. So let's see if I can put a little bit on my hand. If it makes my hand radiant. Alright. It feels very good on the skin though. It's right here, you guys really can't see it. It's just a serum. It smells really good. Kind of has a perfumey smell to it, but it's it's not overpowering. So I'll definitely try this on my face and see how it works. And it's good that it's oil free because here lately my skin has been like freaking out and it is so oily and it's horrible. So maybe that'll help it. The next thing I'm pulling out is by Tarte Rainforest of the Sea. And this is Tarte Quint Quench hydrating primer base hydrant and it comes in this itty bitty little squeezy tube and this is by Tarte and this is water waiting for what are you waiting for a hydrating primer that refreshes skin and protects it from environmental pollutants apply before applying make it massage a dime size amount into the skin okay so let's see what this looks like it does have a little safety seal on it so we'll get that off. I think my dogs, every time I film, they just go up to the stairs and down the stairs and up the stairs and down the stairs. All right, so we'll just put this right over here and there's not a lot in it and it is just like a little like, it's kind of blue tinted, but not really. It kind of has a blue tint to it. It smells really good. Um, and it is just a hydrating gel. So I'll definitely also be trying that out and see how it works on my skin. And this is the last thing. Yes, the last thing is our little perfume sample, and it is by YSL Monteris. Um, Yves. Now you're gonna try it. But here is the little packaging of that. And it says a modern floral scent inspired by the sparkling city of Paris with notes of red, red berries, pear, and peony. Um, top notes are raspberry, strawberry, pear. And then the middle notes are peony, jasmine, orange flower, and then the base notes are white musk and cedar wood. So we'll get this out of its little box and give it a sniff. Uh, I totally just ripped the entire thing of it. So here it is, and this thing is, they, why don't they fill these tiny samples any fuller? Um, but it is only to about right here in the bottle, so we're only getting about that much perfume, which won't last very long. So let's just spray it on, whoa. Ooh, that smells really good. You can definitely smell the pear and the strawberry in it, but it also has like a deep, there's something deep in there. Um, maybe it is the white musk, but that smells really good. I will definitely be wearing this in all these little sample sizes. I always love the scent of them usually. And I use them like within a week, so then they're gone and I'm sad because I can't afford the full size price of the perfume. <laughs> but um, with all that being said, that is all that we have in our box. It doesn't give us the prices or anything. I really wish it would. So we got the perfume, the serum, the lipstick, the eyeliner, the face mask, and the Tarte, um, what is this, primer? 
yes, hydrating primer. So this month was pretty good for Sephora Play and I'm actually excited. I wish there was a little bit bigger items, but it is only $10 a month so you can't beat it. I have a love-hate relationship with Sephora, but I really enjoy all of these products. So if you guys get this box, I would love to know all of your thoughts and opinions down below. And again, um, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!